my name is Blunderman and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to look how to install Stable Cascade from Stability AI on Automatic 11.11 installations. In previous videos, we look how to install it in ConfUI as well how to install with using Pinocchio. If you miss those videos and using those environments, I will recommend for you to check those videos. Right here, we have it, our Stable Diffusion and after installation, you should see this tab Stable Cascade. But before you see this and we'll line, and we're going to explore this, let's go install from beginning. For this, we need to go inside the extensions. Inside the extensions, I would highly recommend disable and uncheck all extensions that you're not going to use. Some of them will conflict with different libraries. Next, if we're going to available and available, we'll just click on load from. Let's just try here and type cascade. You'll notice it does not showing anything because this is extensions not yet registered with repository. For this, we'll need to use it to install from URL. So if we click on a type tab, install from URL, we need to put it value inside the URL. The URL, what we're going to use it, it's a repository thanks to blue pen 5805, the created, and we're going to use it this extension. To get the proper address, right on the top with the inner green box as code, click to expand. And we will have a path for the repository. Just click copy URL to clickboard. After you've done this, go back to your stable diffusion installations and with URL extensions, paste this path. After this, click install. It may take a little bit time and you probably need to restart your server for the stable diffusion that is highly recommend. After installation completed, you should see in your browser, like right down below, says SD Web Easy Stable Diffusion Diffusers. This is extension is what we want to use it. As well, when you reload your UI, you should have the Stable Cascade tab available. Let's go ahead and go in this area and the stable cascade, you will notice a very simple things. It's not yet expand to utilize using control net or other extensions or plugins. I'm sure it will come in the future. Right here, you'll have your prompt, negative prompt with hide, CFG, steps, steps decoder, and batch size, as well as a seed. It's a very simple and basic elements. Let's just go ahead and tap pirate. When you first time click generate, it will take quite a bit long time because it's need going and download all of this component. Let's go ahead and very fast check what is going to download. Notice as it's running, it's downloading the two gigabyte, 1.3 gigabyte, seven gigabyte. It's downloading quite large models and depend on speed of your internet, it could be fast or it could take some time. However, after download is completed, it should be run very fast. I will just leave it everything default. I'll just leave it prompt as a pirate, no negative prompt, and we'll leave it 1024 by 1024 with all pre-default values. So let's go ahead, click generate. As we're clicking generate right here, you can see it because already preloaded all components, it should be quite a bit fast. And here we have our image created, which is actually very good resolution, very nicely rendering, quite a bit fast. One thing, let me point you on this, this currently requirement, and it's under question mark, requires 16 gigabyte. So if your card have it only eight gigabyte RAM, then it could work, but it will start swapping to the RAM and then it may increase quite a bit render time. So if for some reason your render time going very crazy, I would recommend just decrease to 512 by 512. And that should use it much less memory on your uh, video card. So let's go ahead. We'll re reduce quite a bit. And that should require much less use of the VRAM for us. You can always check on a Windows machine how much you're using, including also in the Mac. If you're going to the, your task manager, performance, and go down to GPU, 
And right here, you can see how much currently um, GRAM or video RAM the RAM it's using as well. Currently, you can see it's, it was nine gigabyte was using some. You may be OK with that size, but it's creating. Uh, one thing I noticed when you're creating low resolution, it does not necessarily well work the best. I think it's more optimized on using at least 1024 by 1024 resolution. Well, let's make a little bit more experiments. Also, one interesting comment I would like uh, to point from Blue Pen it's this. It says, please have someone remake this extension. It seems like it's have a great idea, but it's obviously need work. So if you have a free time and in your Python, anyone dedicate some of your um, contributed something of your talent, you can probably help with creating this extension for Automatic 11.11. Okay, so let's go ahead here and we have it a beautiful snow princess dancing in magical forest. Negative prompt, broken hands, missing limbs, deformed, ugly. We'll start with 512 by 512 and we'll leave it all of rest is a default for our creation. Let's go ahead and create generate. And you'll notice it's actually generate quite a bit fast in this case. And we'll just compare the model based on the resolution. Okay, so right here render completed. It does not look very good, actually, honestly. And if we look on our memory, this is how we was using. I will leave it task manager resources up on the screen so we can monitor how much it will take it. Let's go next. We'll take 1024. And here is our render completed. Let's just preview. You can see it is little bit better but i think the sum of the my prompt may does not work well which is okay we can play a little bit later with this and right now i'm going 2048 by 2048 so we'll just increase incremental a little bit bigger and let's go ahead and generate this if you remember before it was reaching about 14 uh, gigabyte and right here, let's see how much we're going. Anyway, with this resolution is still standing under 14 gigabytes. So I will say if you are running about 16 gigabyte on your video card, you should be fine. Okay, if you notice, it will run in several. So it's render one and now will components with all 15. Yeah, it was jumping up to 15 gigabyte for this one. Okay, so let's go ahead and try maybe even higher. Okay, and we'll just going on a maximum. So I don't know if it will should be enough memory for 24 gigabyte and we'll try this. Okay, we'll go on that. Let's generate now and we're going 4096 by 4096. As we look on our usage, it's reach 14. So let's go see if it will step over 16, but normally I notice it's always if you have it 16 gigabyte, it should stay just fine without this. Give a look on a peak, it's still 73 utilization on the processor, 74 and 14.7, so it's still staying under 16 gigabyte utilizations. Shared GPU, this is you don't want to use it shared GPU, it's a your normal RAM will be and if it start using this it will become quite a bit slow so you want to probably be sure it's just stay around here but it seems like it's utilizing very well and if we look on the server right here you can see it start crunching numbers ignore some errors above it's from my other um, extensions that I should clean up probably but for now this is all what I'm interested in. and you can see it does process but it is take a little bit time to do that and if you're not yet notice I'm running on the RTX 3090 with 24 gigabyte VRAM okay first main render now they're working with components and you can see right here it will stay I think below yep still 12 so it's safe to say on the 4000 by 4000, 16 gigabyte video card should be more than enough. And here's interesting things on the end, 
when it's a last step start i'm noticing it's a jump and look what's happening it is using 23 so it's uh, using all my gpu memory on this resolution and it's actually start jumping to using shared so it's quite a bit slow down obviously processing because it's utilizing the shared memory and uh, okay let's go So I'm going to pause, see how long it will take it, but it definitely 16 gigabyte was good enough on the beginning, but now when it start probably putting together all the segments, it's actually need more memory. There you go, it's a drop down. So it does not take many, mostly it's probably was trying to utilize. And here we have it, our beautiful uh, picture. let's uh, it's definitely did something mess up with the, but it's nice to know so definitely it's need to work a little bit more on the processing on this there is our experiment some successful some is not successful and hopefully it will help you with your own installation let me know also what settings you're using and how your system is performing it's very will be very interesting to find because we all it's a new technology and it's interesting to experiment and see um, which other ways we'll find